Welcome to your Tuesday video, everybody. Uh, sorry for the little rant yesterday about Lutheranism and the seal, but I did want to remind myself of what the colors meant. So I hope everybody found that a little bit um, enlightening. Maybe something you didn't know yet if you don't know about the Lutheran faith. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday's video, at the end of it, we went over Luther's seal. That's Martin Luther from hundreds of years ago not martin luther king jr from like 100 years ago uh he was the one who kind of started lutheranism he posted the 95 theses up on the doors of a church pretty much telling the catholic faith like hey this is how you're getting away from the the true like meaning of christianity and um anyway you can go i there was a link I actually have to check it, but I tried to put a link in the description of yesterday's video that you can go check out uh, Martin Luther's seal and what the colors mean in his seal. But today we are continuing with chapter 28. Um, this is the ephod, uh, E-P-H-O-D. I don't. Yeah, okay, you'll see how it's spelled, so I didn't have to spell it. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the ephod is and what they're supposed to make it out of. So here we go. Make the ephod of gold and of blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and of finely twisted linen, the work of skilled hands. It is to have two shoulder pieces attached to two of its corners so it can be fastened. Its skillfully woven waistband is to be like it, of one piece with the ephod, and made with gold and with blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and with finely twisted linen. Take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel. In the order of their birth, Six names on one stone and the remaining six on the other. Hmm. Engrave the names of the sons of Israel on the two stones the way a gem cutter engraves a seal. Then mount the stones in gold filigree settings and fasten them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel. Aaron is to bear the names on his shoulders as a memorial before the Lord. Make gold, fil make gold filigree settings and two braided chains of pure gold like a rope and attach the chains to the settings. Sorry, my I'm usually a better reader, but at when the website I'm looking at, it's hard to tell if the sentence ends or if it keeps going to the next verse. So I apologize for the improper um, grammar usage on some of these sentences. But here we have the ephod, which is pretty similar to what we've been reading about so far. You know, what it's supposed to be made out of, how it's supposed to look. But on this one, they are supposed to engrave the names of the 12 sons of Israel on the two stones the same way a gem cutter would engrave on a seal. Um, so six names on the one stone, six names on the other stone, balanced, 50-50. It -50. Uh, makes sense. Um, and then, yeah, we have some more uh, gold and blue and purple, scarlet yarn, um, which that's what led me into the discussion of Luther's symbol in yesterday's video was all the colors that we read about, I noticed were part of, sorry for that, um, the Luther seal color combination, other than purple. I don't think he has purple in the seal, but I know purple is for royalty. Um, later on down the road, I'm pretty sure Jesus wears a purple robe um, with like Pontius Pilate and that stuff because they mock him because, you know, he's king, but really he is king. So they were giving him what he was owed and deserved but just not in the way that they thought. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself by about half a Bible. So this will be it for today's video. Tomorrow we will keep going with chapter 28, and we'll be halfway through the week. I'm excited for it, even though I know it's my spring break. But anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning.